Bonjour et bienvenue à French Language Learning. In this video, we're going to be talking about the verb aller. Are you ready? On y va. The verb aller is a really, really useful verb. In English, it means to go. Um, so we use it when we're talking about going places. And we also use it when we're talking about going to do something or the, the near future. Uh, so we're going to start with how to conjugate the verb aller. And then we're going to talk about some of the other structures you need to know to use it in sentences. So let's get started. So we're going to conjugate it in for each different pronoun. We're going to run through that a few times until you get comfortable with that. And then we're going to start adding some other nouns to make sentences. So we're going to start with je. If you remember, je means I. So it's je vais. Je vais. And that means I go. So je vais. Très bien. Then we have you. Tu. Tu va. Tu Va. That means you go. Tu va. Très bien. Next we have he goes. So we have il, he, il va. Il va. Okay, now I want you to notice a spelling change here. So when we had tu va, that va was V A S, va with an S. Il va. Sounds the same, but it doesn't have the S. Okay, so our Latin, our next one is El va. She goes. El va. Très bien. So let's run through those one more time. So we have je vais. Tu vas. Il va. And elle va. Très bien. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our plural, um, plural pronouns. So that includes nous, which if you remember, nous means we. Okay, so nous allons, nous allons, nous allons. Now, in between nous and allons, there's what we call a liaison. Okay, and that S in nous, you hear it, it makes a Z sound, and it kind of connects to allons. So we have nous allons. So do you hear how that kind of connects together? Nous allons. Très bien. And next we have vous. Vous is formal you or you all. It's kind of referring to a group. When I, I teach my in-person classes, I remind my students, their kids' students, um, that when I'm using vous, I'm talking to the entire class. Vous. Um, so vous allez. Vous allez. Vous allez. And again, we have that same liaison between the S in vous and aller. And again, it makes that Z sound. So, vous allez. And those two connect together. And finally, we have ils vont. Ils vont. Okay, now this is il pluriel, or this is the plural il. So, it has the S on the end. You don't hear the S when we say it, but it's there in its written form, and it means they. And it means they as in a group of boys, or they as in a group of boys and girls. So, a mixed group. So, ils vont. And our last one is elles vont. Elles vont. Now again, that's L with an S, so elles pluriel, the plural form. And that's they go, um, but girls only. Girls only. So I try to, when I'm talking with my uh, kids class, I talk a lot about, maybe if you're talking about a girls soccer team or a girls basketball team, uh, just a group of girls. Elles vont. Okay, and that's they go. All right, so let's run through those. Last ones a few more times. We have nous allons, we go, vous allez, you all go, ils vont, they go, and elles vont, they go. Great job. Okay, so now when we're going to make sentences, um, we're going to pair our pronoun and our verb with a noun. Okay, so an example of this is going to be je vais au restaurant. Je vais au restaurant. Now what happens when you use je vais and another noun 
is you have to have a. Okay, so je vais a somewhere. Je vais a somewhere. So I'm going to somewhere. So in order to do that, we have a, as you see right here, a. And it can either be a la if the noun, the place you're going is feminine, or it becomes o, that au. You can't have a le. It breaks the rules. You just can't do it. So a le becomes o. Okay? So je vais au restaurant means I go to the restaurant. Je vais à la plage means I go to the beach. Je vais à la plage. Okay? And so we have le restaurant is a masculine noun. Le restaurant. So it becomes je vais au restaurant. But la plage, the beach, is a feminine noun. So we have je vais à la plage. Does that make sense? Let's practice those a few more times using some of our other pronouns. Je vais au restaurant. Now you try. Très bien. Tu vas au restaurant. Il va au restaurant. Nous allons au restaurant. Vous allez au restaurant. And finally, ils vont au restaurant. Great job. Okay, let's practice with la plage this time. Je vais à la plage. Très bien. Tu vas à la plage. Il va à la plage. Elle va à la plage. Nous allons à la plage. Vous allez à la plage. Elles vont à la plage. Très bien. All right, so I think that covers our video for today, uh, going through the verb aller. Stay tuned uh, for more videos talking about this verb and how it can be used in the future and how we can use it in the past tense and other things like that in another video. If you have any questions, comments, or a specific lesson you'd like to see, please leave a note in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like this video to find out about our next and upcoming videos. Uh, we're going to try to be a little bit more consistent this year with new videos and new content. All right, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much for watching and au revoir.